Hey guys, welcome to another tips on Tableau video. In this video, we will learn how we can hide subtotal where there is only one row item. Over here, we have a table where we can see the product brand name and the specific product sold under this particular brand. And what we have done here is we have created a table with a grand total and the relevant subtotal for each product brand. It looks fine, but if we take a second look, there are certain rows where there's only one single product sold under this particular brand. So this creates noise in the table and oftentimes we will want to remove them. There is two ways in which we can do so. So by default, how it works in Tableau is that you can only hide the subtotal here or you can show all of the subtotal. The first method you can do to hide these two duplicated rows is to manually hide them from a the table. So what you can do is to right click on this and select hide. So you have to go to this individual row item and click on hide. So now it gives us the desired table that we want where we have hidden the extra row. However, the problem with this is that it requires a manual step where we go to the table and hide them manually, which is not great. So what else can we do to try to automate this process? So the second method we have is to try to dynamically hide this subtotal. So before we move to that, we must first understand the concept of size, which is the key formula that we are going to use in our calculated view. So now when I drag it in, you can see that this size here shows 12. What does 12 mean? Basically, size refers to the number of row partition across this calculation. So over here, this size is calculated across the table. And across this table, we have 12 row partition. This 12 row partition is from this product name. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. So what we want to do here is to make use of this size formula to identify the product name where we only have one row item. So we want this partition to show one. So what we can do is to change the way it is computed. We can change this to compute using the product name. Now what happens is we can see that for those brand name with only one item will only show a row partition of one. Now that we have understood how this size work, we can put this size into our calculation. Let's remove this first. And I have already created a calculated view here that say if size is equal to one, which is the case we identified, we are going to leave it as blank. Otherwise, we will name our product name. So now we can use this new calculated view. We're going to drag it here and we want to actually hide this. And we see that this is still not what we want. It's still showing the individual product name. That's because we haven't changed our compute method. So of course we want to change using the product name. Now you see that those with a single row item will now change to blank. The next step here is to do what we have done in the previous method. Right click over here and click on hide. So using this method, what happens is that when there is new data coming in, there is no need to go to the table and manually hide this subtotal. It is already set up. It's going to pick up rows that has only one row item and identify as blank. And the subtotal is going to remain hidden. And for brand where it now has more than one product, it will also be updated dynamically. So now let's take a look how it will look like. So over here, what I've done is I've actually added another product for the brand Easy in the data set. So let's connect to this new data source and see what happens. And now you see that for brand easy, it now shows these two different products. Thank you for watching and if you like this, do check out the other videos where you can learn more tips and tricks on Tableau.